So if you're trying to find the perfect keywords for SEO, then you have to watch this entire video because SEMrush just released a game-changing feature. And no, they're not sponsoring this video at all. But I'm just super pumped about this really new feature that's gonna help you select keywords much easier. And most importantly, help you avoid picking keywords that are gonna be a massive waste of time and resources. So this is an absolute game-changer for your keyword research process. And I'm very, very excited to show you guys. Let's dive right in. Okay, so what you wanna do is go into SEMrush and and go to the keyword overview section. Enter a keyword that you want to rank for and then put your domain in this little section here. SEMrush is going to show you the overall keyword difficulty, but then what it's going to do, it's going to crawl your website and then it's going to determine what your personal keyword difficulty is going to be for your specific domain. So what does that mean? Well, number one, they're going to look at the overall strength of your specific domain from a backlink profile perspective, but they're also going to look at your overall topic authority of your site, meaning do you talk about this topic a lot on your website? Okay, that's at a very high level, that's really what it's looking at, okay? And so when we look at this one, Gotcha SEO, clearly, I don't think I've ever even mentioned the word loan on my website at all, okay? Plus, when we look at the overall strength um, of, of my site versus those that are ranking, it's, I have no chance, okay? So you can see this right here, my personal keyword difficulty score is 100%, uh, which means that there's a 0% variance here. So normally, this would be 100%. My personal KD is still 100%, meaning this is a really, really bad keyword to go after, okay? You can see I have low topic authority because I, I, I don't write about loans. So this is a very good way to qualify your keywords and to select the right keywords. Now we can go here and you can see your potential position in SERP. It says top 100, but realistically, uh, I'm probably not gonna end up there, right? I mean, this is like best case scenario. I could end up on page six, okay? And like, so it's not worth it. So let's look at a different one that's a little more realistic. Right here, this is looking at SEO specifically. Even then, because I have a highly relevant domain, it says I have medium topic authority. So when you look at this, the regular KD is 100%, but my personal KD is 69%. So there's a 31% decrease based on like the overall status of my domain at this point. Okay, so when we look at this, you'll see that SEMrush is estimating that I could get within, let's say, 31 to 60. Even though I could, doesn't mean I should, right? Because being anywhere other than top 10 is pointless. So basically what I could conclude right away is like, I should not go after this keyword, right? There's no point, it's gonna be a waste of time, it's gonna be a waste of resources. Plus it's a head keyword and they really suck for conversions. So. This is just another way to make sure you're not targeting bad keywords, okay? Let's look at another example. This one here, best CMS for SEO, okay? We look at my personal keyword difficulty score on this one is 0%. Now, why is that? Well, number one, my my authority is e somewhat equivalent to th some of the domains that are ranking for this. Plus, I do have good topic authority to rank for this as well, okay? So this is normally a, a KD of 27, but now it's actually a 0%, meaning it's like a really good keyword to go after. Now I am ranking well for it, but when you look at this, um, there's, there's some obvious points here that you would wanna look at. And for me, when I'm doing keyword research or keyword, like trying to select a keyword, I don't actually even look at the URL score very often. Like I'm not super interested in that. What I'm interested in is like, who are the big players that I'm trying to beat? And when I see HubSpot and SEMrush and uh, you know these huge strong domains, that usually gets me a little scared, right? Cause I'm like, ugh, it's gonna be hard to beat these guys. They got a lot of power. But when we look at this, I wanna see, are there other domains that are similar to my site that are ranking? And what I see here is Market Brew, they're at a 31. The point is I wanna see, are there other competitors that are ranking that are within my range of domain authority score, okay? And clearly like this isn't just a game of just pure backlinks. Like this is a, there's also, you know, engagement on your content. There's also obviously organic CTR is a big piece of this before they even get to your content. Uh, there's the quality of your content. Like are they actually consuming? Are they actually scrolling? Are they actually engaging with it? Like Google's able to track a lot of that. So there's a lot more to this ranking equation, but this is this is really critical for being able to pick the right keywords so you don't make a lot of mistakes, okay? Um, and so this is just, this is gold, I'm telling you. Like add this to your keyword research process. Now you have, you have a really amazing resource that allows you to avoid going after 
just keywords that your your website is just not capable of ranking for. And there's really two big pieces to determining whether your your website can rank for a particular keyword. Number one is your overall domain strength from a link profile perspective, like pure backlinks, how strong is your site? Okay, that's really one of the biggest things. And then after that is gonna be the overall, your overall topic authority on that website. Have you created a lot of content about your particular topic? On the more kind of quantifiable element is just like, how often have you talked about X topic and the subtopics related to that primary topic? The more that you do that, the more that you'll likely be perceived as a topic authority. And so then once you find the perfect keyword to go after, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna to start to figure out how you can build the most relevant page. And the good news is the best way to do that is with Rankability. And so right now there's actually, you can get a free trial with Rankability if you go to try for free. So go to rankability.com, go to try for free, and you can actually try this tool uh, full access. It's somewhat limited credits, but you can actually try the tool, like all the features and all the good stuff. This thing is just getting started, but I can tell you right now, this is the best content optimization tool. And I I can assure you that even from a technical perspective, it's the best, but also just from an education perspective, because like today, for example, we're going to be doing a mastermind call. So you can jump on this mastermind call, ask me any questions you have about SEO. We can just geek out about SEO nonstop. And obviously I can show you how rankability uh, can be integrated into your SEO process. So for me right now, like my my two tools that I use the most is SEMrush and Rankability. Like those are the two that I use literally on a daily basis to optimize content or have my team come in and optimize content. Uh, and I, I build out all my content assets in here. So anyway, go to rankability.com, start your free trial, and thanks for watching.